The randomness of 2015 will never cease to amaze me. Yep, that's Kris Jenner watching Kylie Jenner and Michael Buble shoot a scene from the opening of his Christmas special. And why am I recording this? Because moments before, Mr. Buble was here. And of course, that's my car. And of course, I'm at Hill Valley. Because of course, 2015 is ridiculous. I am a little ahead of myself. This is the third time I've been on the set with my car. And while it's not the outright giddiness of the first time, it's always special. Remarkably, I got to witness something quite rare. Look at this. Wow. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. I had to tell them it was 10.04, and they called me a nerd, as if the time machine wasn't a hint. Quickly onto the shoot, and you realize just how big these opening numbers are. The car's probably nine seconds of screen time as he walks through portions of the back lot singing each line of the song. Of course, it takes so many people and so many hours to pull off these seconds. It's a wonder there's even a business model to make this work. I haven't seen a Christmas special on network TV in 25 years. But Michael Buble is certainly the cat to make it work. Way back. I have a strange history with Michael that he was completely unaware of until I told him on the set, at which point he hugged me and we had a good laugh. I'll save the story for a Hats and Mini Golf interview I now must make happen. But suffice to say, for a good part of my life, he has been my Newman, consistently annoying me and inadvertently beating me to punches. It's all based in lighthearted jealousy on my part, but it was nice to finally meet him and tell him. He's also impossible not to like. He's a guy having a good time and remarkably approachable. There were a couple of these Back to the Future type shots. And after lunch, we find ourselves in this surreal Kardashian moment where Kylie Jenner is doing a modeling shoot, he walks up and shoots a selfie, and walks on. You know, I know the world seems to hate this family, but I've never really understood the vitriol. Pretty rich people have gotten famous simply for being pretty and rich since the beginning of time. That will never change. That is pop culture in a nutshell. And if you don't like pop culture, there are alternatives. I neither like nor dislike the family. They just are. And 2015 just was. It's a year that will stand alone, start to finish, more vivid than any year of my life. Here's to the future. Oh,